Crashes have always been an inseparable part of Formula 1, from the early 60s when racing was extremely dangerous to the modern area where technology has advanced monumentally. Accidents are simply part of the sport, the difference is safety. Back in the 60s and 70s, even small crash often had tragic consequences. Today, after decades of innovation, we see results. FIA step by step have introduced safety features that make the cars and drivers far more protected. The halo, incredibly strong chassis construction, fireproof clothing and countless other improvements. Modern Formula 1 may still look dangerous, but compared to its past, it is a revolution in safety. But even with all these improvements, damage to the car is still common. When a crash isn't too serious, the driver can usually continue and head into the pits. And one of the most frequently replaced component is front wing. Because it's mounted right at the nose of the car, it's the first thing to hit barriers, curbs or even another car. So here's the question we're exploring today. What would happen if a driver lost the front wing completely and chose not to pit? How would the dynamic of the car change and how drivable it would be? For this test, we're using brand new F1 2026 car model created by our friend Quist. This car features a spoon style front wing, which is very effective design. It generates strong low pressure underneath the wing, pressing the front of the car, while the small flap on top redirects air upwards to manage flow around the wheels and body. Once we remove that front wing, the differences are drastic. The first and most obvious issue is the loss of front downforce. With no source of low pressure at the nose, the car loses grip at the front tires. But interestingly, the smooth shape of the nose means that the airflow doesn't separate as violently as you might expect. Instead of forming a large stagnation point right away, the flow stays attached and goes downstream cleanly. The wheels add another problem, with the front wing gone, there's nothing to direct flow cleanly around the tires. Air smashes directly into the rotating wheels, which are essentially giant turbo generators. The way they create disrupts the airflow. Looking at the floor view, we see that the front section of the floor produces no downforce at all. The dynamic balance shifts heavily toward the rear, which is now working harder than ever to generate grip. This happens because more air is allowed under the car without being blocked or redirected by the wing. That might sound like a benefit at first. More air under the car means more diffuser performance, right? But in practice, it overcomes the diffuser. The diffuser is designed for some certain amount of air. With too much volume and speed, the diffuser can't manage it and the flow starts to separate. In our words, the rear of the car becomes messy and inefficient, and the result is a larger, dirtier wake. Take a look at this visual. With the wing attached, the wake is tighter and more compact. Without it, the wake is bigger, less organized and much more turbulent. Now, let's put some numbers on it. Without the front wing, the drag coefficient rises to 0.76 and the lift coefficient becomes minus 0.99. Compared to the standard configuration, these are significantly worse results. And remember, this is all from the loss of a single component, but one of the most important on the entire car. From a driving perspective, the difference would be a night and day. The car would suffer from understeer, meaning the front simply wouldn't want to turn into corners. Braking would also become unstable because the car's aerodynamic balance is shifted heavily rearward. The front tires would slide and overall the car would feel unpredictable and difficult to control, especially at high speeds. In a real race, continuing without a front wing could be almost impossible to drive. That's why when driver damages any component, team tries to fix it as fast as it possible. If you would like to try out your own aerodynamic experiments, you can head to osrlab.com, where you can request a custom aerodynamic analysis for your own design. Finally, a huge thank you goes to Quiz for sharing this highly detailed 3D model of the F1 2026 generation. His models are incredibly realistic, so definitely check out his works. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next aeronalysis. analysis.